Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial 17 titled Keeping Score Using Dynamic Text. I'm going to use the previous tutorial CS5 16, the hit game, but what you're going to learn in this tutorial can be applied to any type of event. It can be a non inner frame event, it can be the push of a button. But in our case, we're going to be keeping score each time the square hits the ball. I have that FLA open from tutorial 16, so let's get started. Select the, make sure all the layers are locked. Select the ball 3 layer, insert a layer, and call it text. T-E-X-T, -E that's the name of this layer. I want to just pull this up a bit so I can see my stage, put my stage down to 50%, open my text tool, and way up here in the corner I'm going to put a box. In properties, make sure it's static text, static, and I'm just going to write here score, S S C O R E space equals. My score equals. That's what I got here. Pick my text tool up again and right beside it make another text box. Make another text box. Come up here and this time make it make it dynamic text. We need dynamic text if we want to write code on it. So it needs an instance name. C O U N T E R counter shift underscore txt. That's the name of this dynamic text. And let's just put a couple of zeros in here. Zero, zero. This is a number zero. And pick up your selection tool and slightly line them up a little bit so they're in place. If I have a dynamic text called counter, I'm going to have to do something with it. So let's open up our action panel on frame one of the actions layer open the actions panel we're going to put in a new variable up here so click the very start of this code enter tab up or your arrow up and write in this little bit of code it's a variable var which is in purple and we're going to have an, a variable called count colon number capital N U M B E R that will turn blue if it's right equals zero semicolon this is what we're going to actually work with when we work with the program and this will change the text box we just made come down to the bottom of our action script where we have our three balls being hit by the square and this is ball one right here ball one being hit put in a line and put in this two lines of code. This is that variable we just made called count. Every time we hit the ball one in the square, we'll take the word, the, the contents of count, which is zero, and it'll be equal to zero plus a hundred. So this will add a hundred to it. It will then use this line of code to say that counter text box we just made C O U N T E R capital C underscore T X T period T E X T this is in blue equals bracket count bracket so it's equal to this new count and this period two string small t capital S for string it'll turn blue open and close bracket semicolon this is the code that says I want you to display in this text box whatever is in count and in this case it'll be 100. Go down to the next well, next hit statement where we're hitting the ball 2. Select there and come up here copy this those two lines right click copy them come down here and paste them in here. Same thing when it hits ball 2 and come down here and paste them when it hits ball three. So let's see if that's working for us. Control test the movie. 
there's the score we just talked about and something's not working quite right let's go back to the main timeline and let's select the text layer frame one click on this just a dynamic text not this score text just this one here click on this open the properties we gave it an instance name but we need to what's called embed the font otherwise the code can't recognize it so click on that double click it opens and unless you're really scrapped for space and putting this on a website click this one here and all the fonts otherwise you might want to choose what parts of the fonts you are going to use but click on that one and up here click OK now let's test it and this should work now I hit the I drag it as it hits them my score I had three balls a hundred each there's my 300 now we want to say the game's over and we win so lock this layer put in a new layer call it win it's the win layer and starting here at the win layer click drag it down and insert keyframe there we go keyframes and all this information gets carried over select the wins layer everything else is locked pull this up and we want to write something here grab our text tool make a sign just put it right across here for now and write making it a large font it's going to be static text static and make it a large font up around 50 something like that and in blue letters I got blue selected here type you win you win go back up to your main timeline select this frame 2 of the actions layer right click insert a blank keyframe and put a stop action in here S T O P open close bracket semicolon so now we gotta direct ourselves to this when we have the right when all the balls get hit we gotta send our timeline to frame 2 close this off select the frame 1 of the actions layer open the actions panel and way down here between these last two curly brackets I want you to type in this information. It says if counter text text that would be the text box equals equals and you need two equal signs because it's what's called a comparison. In my case we have three box balls that are hit. It'll total 300. When that happens when that happens and, and and again we got this two string so it recognizes this as a number 300 in the text box if that happens go to and stop frame 2 and we know frame 2 has that you win let's try that out test the movie there they come we can fix this there's that there's that okay why is that there let's go back to the main timeline and if I look I must have put that on the main timeline oh okay go back to this frame one action script layer one open it up and way up the top here we have to put a stop now that we got two frames it wants to jump to that second frame automatically so put an inner sign up with the arrow and a stop S T O P stop open close bracket semicolon now let's test it and it should be alright test the movie that's better there's 100 points 200 points 300 points you win 
now we should be able to make some means of coming back so we can play the game a second time and that will be done in this in this frame select lock all layers select the win layer insert a layer and call it button b u t t o n frame 2 select frame 2 insert a blank keyframe on frame 2 select that frame 2 pull this up and somewhere over here let's make a black button and we'll keep the rectangle tool we'll keep these two colors because it's a wind color and right here we're going to put a little square selection tool modify convert to a symbol it's going to be a button and let's just call it again as as in play again a g a i n underscore b t n there's our button i'm going to write code on it so come up here open the properties panel and call it a g a i n underscore b t n and now we're ready to write code on that button select the second layer of the action script the, the second select the second frame of the actions layer open the actions panel directly below this stop button I want you to write type in this code and I'm going to make some changes because I don't need all this we'll just call this enter frame And I'm just going to copy this for now and paste it here, and then I'll go through it with you. Okay. We know why the stop is here, because we don't want to jump back to frame one. And it is the again button. That's the button we just made. Period. Add event listener. Same as what we've done before. On the mouse event click capital M, capital E, period, C-L-I-C-K, all capitals. Then there's a comma, and this enter frame, as long, no matter what you put in here, as long as you copy it and put the same thing here, it'll work. Close bracket, semicolon. This is listening for the button to click. On, as soon as you click on the button, you jump into this function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N. There's the same name. Bracket, event. I think you can just put anything here. Uh, colon, it's a most event, same as this, close bracket, colon, void, and there's my open curly bracket, my closed curly bracket, and we want a few things to take place here. We want the ball one movie clip to go back to frame one so it can play again. We want the ball mo two movie clip to go back to frame one so it can play again. I'm copying this and I'm pasting it in here and we also want the ball three movie clip to come back and play again otherwise we wouldn't have anything to hit we have to make that variable count equals zero if we didn't do this the count would still be 300 and it would just keep jumping back jumping back jumping back into this into this frame too and, and we never start the game again and we got to make the text box count go back to whatever this is in this case zero and we got to go back to on this own timeline go to and stop on frame one and there's the closed curly bracket if we have everything and everything is in its place this should work that's the movie. They're bouncing around. That one hit that one for me. That one hit that one. It says you win. I go back to frame one and I can do it all over again. Over and over and over. I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.